na oche eche mo e na asante ni otu mfo o se tutu otosu mi no wane nanana matra kunja afi akrachi foni biya o mo e wot na suye ye e kopie mo e wo Scotland no kopie mo Scotland abrochi me mwa ni nina ana se e na mi ensa e na wode kwa official visitor wo kodi juma e wo e ye Scotland na sa e jume diye no e no e no matu ni din e ye St. Andrews African Summit in Scotland a ye St. Andrews University ya no suwa Scotland o mo e ne shishye se e jume diye na mra asante ni otu mfo o se tutu ye bo ja na wo kasa e wo ejumedi na se e na wo kire se wo hwe eye ebibre mu ha enkanka eye west africa enye ma bi e sisi na anze no ense emfata kra asrafo e ka omo ha na omo di tu akotu aban ego sa anye ma e koso no e ma eye ebibiman sa e ko na chi kra o kire se ye wonhye hye anka oman bia hyehya to wo se ye to aba na obi e di so edru ba bi e wo se ye sa to aba se nipa na betra so anaso fofro ne beba ke no e na ye ade e beti maboa na so so no wo hwe aman bi se mali Niger, Sudan, Gabon. Eni ema isi si efri 2020 no eba no e yadi a ense emfata kra. In the first two decades of political emancipation, a spate of military coups rocked the continent and took away the first generation of leaders for the immediate post-independence era. Having gone through the experiences of that followed, the continent concluded that its fate lay in the orbit of democratic governance. And so it has been for the past two decades. The resurgence of military intervention suggests that something has gone seriously wrong. Let me make it categorically clear that regardless of the circumstances, I do not think that military intervention <coughs> offers a solution at this point in the evolution of our continent. There was a time when circumstances produced the notion that power flew out of the barrel of a gun. Those times are over and we face completely different circumstances now. And no echi, emra asante ni etu wane kasa sonu. Osa echi le muse, ushe nananu matra kunya, anazi yaka traditional leadership, anazi traditional authorities ha. Omusu ewa chaka pa, eba kebi mamin kebi amemuo enhua. The French Revolution abolished the monarchy under the banner of liberty and fraternity, but democracy did not abolish the monarchy in Britain and the rest of Europe. Democracy was built on the solid foundations of enduring monarchy and much of Europe and the rest of the world is the better for it. It is against this background that we can now look at the role of traditional leadership in the new democratic state. From what we have learned so far, it should be evident that with few exceptions, the constitutional arrangements of the new African democracy leave traditional leadership in at the peripheries of national governance. Within that limited range, much good is often accomplished. Traditional leaders offer useful counsel and advice to elected political leaders and serve as interlocutors between them and the ordinary people. As you all know, 80% of the population of Africa lives in the rural areas. The primary loyalty of this Mammoth community continues to be with their chiefs. Inevitably, their leadership is critical in the quest for development and prosperity of any country. Contrary to the misconceptions of the times, the evidence is that wherever traditional leadership is strong, they are able to maintain peace and national cohesion. Vice Principal in charge of strategy, policy and planning, Edema St. Andrews University, Eye Esther Luskuk, Esso Ekasa Echile Musei. The St. Andrews Africa Summit, SASM, is an annual event focused on Africa and the African diaspora coordinated by a dedicated team of students here at the University of St. Andrews. SASAM is designed to introduce African affairs to our students, inspire them to find out more about Africa's historical ties to the Western world, and encourage a desire to participate in the continent's future. Today's summit is particularly significant that the level of enthusiasm and collaboration from the student body has been nothing short of amazing. Ne kra kra no ewo dwumadie na se no co-founder Edema St Andrews African Summit eye Bradley Poku e champion ono so to answer mu say it is not lost on us what a majestic feat that it is for him to travel this length just for us and I can confidently say that this is the highlight of my life so far. Thank you for the honor done me my family, the St. Andrews Africa Summit, and the entire university. We are ever so grateful, Your Majesty.